Hi guys. Um, I wanted to share uh, my opinion about Tata Chings versus uh, Chen Shao that I just watched at uh, Michigan State event. And so I knew that Chance had uh, potential to uh, be taught with the uh, right preparation. And I think I thought that his playing style would fit, uh, would serve the best way to beat Tatashings. There, there are, I mean, not so many options to beat this guy. And in my opinion, uh, you need to like just taking Tad's wrist uh, without controlling his pronator um, is not always enough most of times not enough so i think that one needs to really control that's pronator and his wrist at the same time you know then then it's because you can't really match his side pressure his side pressure does not allow you to um keep your hand you know, inside of your arm resting shoulder, you know, he always takes you here with that pressure. So that, that the root of the pressure is coming from his body, you know, his shoulder, back shoulder, rear shoulders, you know, that way. So once you turn here, the pronator, so this is becoming less effective unless he hooks you. But as I said, if you control here and here at the same time, then you are going to, you are still not going to enable him to apply side pressure, but I think that you are going to reduce his uh, pressure maybe by 50%. And then, I mean, if you are not so weak, then you're gonna, you're gonna beat him. Um, I saw the first round, they both choose to go to strap. <clears throat> and chance, Pronator was strong enough to take Todd's wrist and then he even came to the little bit winning position he started as far as I remember because I watched live we didn't watch again and he brought him here and whenever he hit his wrist also didn't really have super uh, control over uh, Todd's Pronator, I think where he where Chance got a foul, the announcer of the match was thinking that like if, if Chance didn't foul, he was going to win. It didn't seem to me that way, you know. It seemed to me Chance had the control but couldn't go after a point. This is how I saw when I was watching live. And after that round Chance realized that he should keep uh, Todd um, outside of the strap. He didn't try to sleep and Todd just continued pulling without trying to sleep. And that, that was some tough battle there, some, you know, tough battle. There were some fouls for each side. Uh, it, it seemed like it seemed like, as I said, that uh, Chance was trying to control the pronator of... It wasn't so hard without the strap Chance to take Todd's wrist. But he realized that more he pronated, more he missed the pronator of arm of uh, Todd. And Todd was putting the pressure with the, like a pronated forearm, almost dead wrist. And the more Chance wanted to stop that, that, that pressure with his wrist, then more he involved his wrist, then he started losing his uh, pronator this time. And in the hook, he was thought was like a wall. Um, yeah. As I said, you know, in my opinion, if you want to be taught, you need to be able to control his wrist and pronator at the same time 
that way he will not be able to use his max side pressure that way you can beat him but it seemed to me that um chance was able to control um todd's pronator but once he did that he lost his pronator his own pronator chance was able to control todd's wrist but whenever he was able to do that then he couldn't control at the same time he had the wrist but he was just like pronated not like this so basically Todd's side pressure joint pressure was uh, too much um, even though Chance seemed to have stronger forearm but the, 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 the joint pressure to the side way just made Chance more and more uh, tired as I said once he tried to stop the pressure or Todd by trying to block his pernader with his wrist he started losing his pernader and then whenever he wanted to like fully take the hand then then he took the hand but now Todd was applying incredible side pressure since there was no resistance from his wrist to his shoulder only only his hand was having the pressure but he had everything you know he was applying it was just too much so i think i think chance has um technical ability to, to uh, apply what i say but <clears throat> today was too early for him maybe in the future he can do that but if he doesn't make his game plan i don't know maybe he made the exactly the same game plan that i would do um um but you know it doesn't matter you know what what, what plan you make you know if, if you are not strong or coordinated enough it's not going to <clears throat> work you know i also know in my opinion how to be taught but as long as i cannot you know do what's necessary you will look like you didn't do a good homework but actually maybe you did it you know but but there you are not strong enough but you look like you're not strong enough and you look like um even technically you didn't do what's necessary so i don't know it was the best chance could do in a technical way or is it because he wasn't strong enough i don't know if this was his like main game plan that's why i think that it will be very hard for iraqi to be taught as well you know just say like because once you just always pronate and just hit the here you are not using really joint pressure here but just only pressing with your uh, radius bone you know with the radius while if you can keep your arm that way you can apply pressure with your thumb and the bottom side of your hand which is ulna and the radius uh, together you know you can apply a pressure to opponent's arm and hand at the same time you know that is how to beat that but when when i know that iraqi will fully pronate if he doesn't do anything different right now and then he will try to attack that way so it will not be so much joint but just so much muscle you know while Todd will be putting all his joint pressure so I don't know if if uh, Iraqi can apply um, enough pressure to pin Todd touchings three times it to me it, it doesn't look so um, possible but we will see since I'm the organizer it's not a good idea it's not ethical either to um, I'm just maybe my opinion is even better maybe Iraqi would care to translate you know what 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 I say I mean I'm not saying that I know better than he does but that that is what I realize you know whenever I watch Tata Chinks, you really need to control that guy's pronators you know just to make his palm look that way so he can he can apply so much um side pressure okay anyway so 
this was the uh, one of the uh, uh, best super matches of today the others will be in the I don't know if I'm missing any other event all around the world but um, I watched this one and then soon I will watch the king of the table three with all those great super matches and I will try to share my um, opinion about that as well you know you all take care